Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to set the color of a, any selected part of the text in your edit text or text view in your Android app. So let's begin. We'll create a simple uh, layout and we can name this project as uh, color text app. I will switch to the latest version Android uh, 12. Of course, Android 13 is also around the corner and I'll wait for the environment to load. So once the environment is loaded, what I'll do is I'll go to the layout page and most likely I'll keep this text view also uh, so that I can show you how you can do it in the text view as well. I'll put a button which will trigger my set color but this trigger could be from any uh, other, uh, other event as well. I will just put the constraints and I'll name the button as set color and what else I will, I will need it edit text of course the plain text where the user will enter uh, whatever text he or she wants to put and that will or should get reflected okay I'll put constraints over here as well and that's all I guess uh, I'll put some ID for the text view so that I can capture it in my Java code and that's all I guess yeah I'll move to the Java code before I do anything I'll quickly create a public void uh, button set color view yeah and I will go back to my layout and associate this method to my button click uh, on click attribute of my button over here perfect so now we have the method and I'll also quickly associate it. Uh, I'll create local uh, variables, edit text and the other one was text view, text view. So the focus in this video will be how to set the color, uh, whatever the user enters in the edit text. So this will be find you by idr dot id dot, uh, I think this is yeah, edit text express. I don't know why this ID is like that. I could have changed it over there, but that's fine. I continue. Uh, find view by id r dot id dot text view. Yeah. So my local variables are now associated. Now in this method, in this method, I will create something called as a spanable uh, string. So I will just create a spanable string. I think the spelling is not correct, but it doesn't matter. It's a variable name, but it's, it's still good to have the correct spelling. And I'll create something called the spanel, uh, spanable string builder. And in this, what I can do is I can uh, dot get text here. So this uh, variable will have uh, our text, whatever the edit in the edit text in a local variable in the spanable format, which we can now modify. So to modify, what we'll do? We'll set the span of this uh, in this variable. So we'll set a span. And a span will be set uh, first and foremost the object. So on which object you, you want to set the span? No, uh, this object is not uh, this object is what I want to set the span on. So this will be like the color what we want. So there are two types of color span what we can set. So if you just type color span, you'll see there's foreground color and background color. As the name suggests, foreground color, color will just uh, set the color of the text. And this will set the background of the text. We'll do both. We'll see both how it will come up. So most likely uh, for the foreground the span uh, which is which will color the text I will set it and over here uh, probably I should have done something like new foreground yeah span I don't need the other one and inside this I can set the color so of course we can choose the color also from our uh, layout but over here I am hard coding and once we have set it. Then what else we will need is we will need the start and the end index. So that we can get by from this spanable string or what we can do is probably we can directly use this and get a selection a start and end. So this will give me which part of the text is selected. Get selection end and last will be 0. So this is set my uh, color as the the foreground color 
Now what I'll do also do, I will try to set the background color. I'll do it in the same uh, method uh, rather than creating multiple methods. So I'll just uh, background or, or wait, let me do one thing. Uh, I'll just comment it out. I'll go to my layout. I'll make it more cleaner. So I'll change this uh, uh, button as set foreground color. And I'll insert another button called background color. I'll maintain some distance. I'll insert another button and I'll uh, separate it out in the method uh, form so that it's more easy to understand what is happening. Set background color. Yes. So I will be separating it out. So I will create one more public method. Public button. Um, I can set background color. You, you, yeah. I can change the name of this as foreground color, but I leave it as it is, uh, not to create more confusion. And over here, I will just change this in this. Okay, I'm not sure why it is not coming up. I'll go back here and see. I think there's something. I think I forgot to give the return type, which is void. Yeah, now if I come to the layout and if I go to this button, I should see the second method also. Yeah, set background color. So this is set the background color. This is set only the for foreground color. The, that is a text color. Now if I come here, I think what I'll do is I will bring this line of the code in the next method. And I will also, but have to, Control C, bring it here. Yeah. And so syntax means same kind of. It's just change of uh, 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 from foreground to background. Here it's foreground and here's background. That's it. And here also, I think I'll keep it. Rest of the things I'll keep it same. Control C, Control V. Perfect. Now what else? I think it is. Yeah. Now once this spinnable string is done, we should reset it back. Set text and the spanable string. I will also do one thing. I will modify the text view and I'll set the same thing in the text view also. So that just to see it works in both text view and uh, edit text. And I think same line of the course I will do over here in this method. That's all. I'll run this uh, and see if it works or not. In the meantime, I'll just Make sure the core is a little more presentable because I will put this code on my website as well. So you can refer there. I have all my work is in on my website, so yeah, it can be referred. So I will wait for the emulator to come up. So my emul emulator has come up and the app is there. So I'll quickly test it. So I will type something this is okay that was some sound i don't know what it is all about so this is programmer world so i'm just typing something uh, randomly and what i'll do is i'll try to select the programmer world and try to set the foreground color please note the moment i click this or uh, even the text view the hello world will go off and this should come up that's what my guess is perfect so if you see it has made it red because we have hard coded red over here we can also give a palette here which the user can uh, uh, select and now what I'll do, I'll again select programmer and probably this time I'll set just programmer world the complete. I, I want to make it background as say for example green which is which we have hard coded here. And once I select, perfect. So programmer remains red because foreground color I have set red and now it becomes completely green the background color. So it's so simple, it's just uh, you can set uh, foreground and background color uh, and you can set the color uh, of the text, whatever you want to set. Even if you don't want to do it uh, by the selection approach, you can hard code the index here from which part to which part you want to do it and it will work. So it just takes the numbers and it just colors the part. So that that is also possible. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.